Okay, I want to make a tutorial uh, video about how to focus on stars and planets. I've seen so much of this going around, real planets and stars, the P900. Okay, it's just a mistake. You know, I made this mistake when I first got into Flat Earth because I never, you know, you look up at the sky every once in a while, you don't really think about it. You go to work, you know, you, you learn what they teach you in school. Do I think these things are millions and billions of miles away absolutely not you know they're lights in the sky but they don't look like this this is out of focus um i just play a few minutes of it and i've demonstrated this in a bunch of videos but i hadn't i guess i hadn't really uh shown the proper way to do it um the way i do it you know this is way out of focus these circles of course are the outlines of the multiple lenses inside the camera because the light is being scattered too widely. That's what out of focus is. Um, I did some tests today um, and I will show you those now. Alright, I'm going to do a uh, quick little focus tutorial on the P900 and the P1000. Um, show you how to manually focus. Both both of these cameras have a built-in um, focus helper, if you will. Um, okay, and how you do get into manual mode on this is the P900. I'm filming this with the P1000. Then I'll switch cameras and show it. Now this P900 has been um, uh, full spectrum converted, but um, it's going to work exactly the same. So you're going to push down under the OK button, and say so before you put, you're going to push down on the OK button, and you're going to see your focus modes here. You're going to go down to manual focus, hit OK, OK, and then you're going to see this little graph pop up over here. Let's see how good I can get this. Okay, this graph that is you see right here on the side. Now you can turn this up or down uh, by pushing up or down on the same little wheel here. You push up or down on your OK button. And that will give you this white outline on things we're gonna focus. Now I have assigned my side zoom button to manual focus. Okay. So and you can see The higher the number, the more white it's going to show you. Now, so I put it up to five, it's going to be the most white. See the white outline around the tree? That means it's in focus. Now, if I take it out of focus, see the white goes away. You can see the tree is not in focus. Okay, I'll, I'll focus until I get the most white. See, it's going back the other way now. That's going to be the most in focus. So, I'm going to go ahead and push snap the picture and it's in perfect focus now this will work with stars planets anything you want to film this works the exact same way the camera knows when it is in focus okay so if I move to something else like so you go up to to the top of the tree there. My focal point has changed. And because it's you know, looking somewhere different, so I will adjust my focus again. And you see the white start to show up. Okay, so the camera knows when it's in focus. And then I'll go ahead and snap the picture. 
get perfect focus. Now, see here on the bottom, you can push your, gonna quickly autofocus, you can push the same, uh, push your little wheel to the right, and it will, it will quickly autofocus for you. You're still in manual mode and you can still change it, but as you see, it will get the best focus it can and then you can start filming which I'll go ahead and start filming see I'm recording in manual focus and this should be in this is in perfect focus start filming see I'm recording in manual focus and this should be in this is in perfect focus Okay, now when you get into the digital, let me go ahead and stop this. Okay, now when you get into the digital, let me go ahead and stop this. Uh, when you get into the, uh, I'll wait till tonight to show you. Uh, we gotta wait till some stars come out to show you when you go into the digital focus range. The camera has a lot of trouble focusing, so you almost have to use manual focus when you go beyond the optical into the digital. Um, it'll probably focus, see I'm right here and hit auto focus. It's not really focusing too good. So, it's not really showing me the white lines. It's not, that's too, uh, too close. So when you back up into the out of the digital range, you can see you can see the white lines again. That tells you where it's in focus. Push the button halfway down. Takes the white lines away. Shows you what the picture's gonna look like. Take a shot. See, so, yeah, same thing with the video. Pretty sure you're in focus. You just start videoing. Alright, now I'm filming the P1000 with the P900, and it works pretty much the same way, except you have a focus ring, of course, on the front of the P1000, it's a focus ring, here, okay, and you have a very easy switch right here, autofocus, manual focus. Okay, this made it so much easier, but it works the same exact way. It's got the meter in it. Okay, see, right now I have it in autofocus. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to manual focus. And on this one, you push the. On this one, to, to scroll your numbers up and down to get the white more you have to use the little uh, this wheel on the top here you have to use this wheel back and forth to get your numbers on the side here to go up and down depending on how much white you want to see depending on what you're focusing on you can see how the So it goes down and twist your ring and you'll see the white see I've got this all the way down on two so it's not going to show a whole lot of white and then you snap your picture and it'll be in focus I said again this works exactly the same on stars, planets, whatever you want to film um, you know, depending on the size of the object, what you're doing, you know, all the way to five, it shows a lot of white, as you can see. Uh, and you bump it on down to four. You can see as it goes out of focus, the white goes away. You can tell it's out of focus. But the more white you have, the better focus you have. And you can 
Get your video, start recording. It'll be in perfect focus. Get your video, start recording. It'll be in perfect focus. Okay. Uh, so that's a real simple, real easy way to tell if your camera is in focus. Okay. Uh, so that's a real simple, real easy way to tell if your camera is in focus. Um, like I said, I will come back out here when it gets dark and show you the same thing with the stars and show you how people are kind of getting it wrong uh, with the out of focus stars thing. here at night now I'm going to show this the best I can um, back with the P900 uh, shine some light on it so you can see it uh, anyway I'm going to use the same method I used in daytime I'm going to show you how this works on a star now, this is the built-in focus meter you have to put it in Manual focus. That is out of focus. That's what the camera will normally do in auto focus mode because there's not enough light hitting that tiny, tiny sensor in this little camera to do the focus correctly. Okay, I'm going to put it in. Auto focus. Okay, this is what most people run the cameras on. Auto focus. So, when you zoom in, so when you zoomed out like that, you know, it's kind of in focus. And then as you zoom in, it gets harder and harder for the camera to focus on it. And that's what you get right there. Uh, couldn't run a video of this so you can see. Okay, zooming in here, actually, it kind of focused okay at that time. There we go. And actually, it's not too bad right there. That's what it should look like. It should be at the smallest point. Okay. Put it back in manual focus. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. Going all the way into the digital zoom. And you can see, I turn my numbers, little white numbers down here on the side. Make it even more white around it. So now I'm recording this. Uh, if I dial my focus down to where it gets to the smallest point, and I see it starts getting bigger, it's going back out of focus. At the smallest point, that is in focus. All right, I've got my have a playlist of these videos uh, of all the examples of this I've shown um, and yeah we all make mistakes this is one of the ones all right this is my uh, playlist I've made of all my other videos about focusing this is one two three four five six seven all right this will be the eighth one I'll add it to this list and if you want to know more about this um, like I said it's just a mistake you know the, the P900 is not designed for astrophotography just plain and simple and it can be done um, in this video I didn't get the exposure and all I didn't go into all that I was just trying to show you about the focus I mean there's a lot of other stuff you have to know about the exposure the good thing about the um, P1000 it has a movie manual mode and you can actually um, adjust your shutter speed while you're filming and um, 
like especially filming something like Venus you can cut that brightness down and it looks like the moon in phase you know just tiny that's what it's supposed to look like I mean Venus goes through phases like the moon you can check out uh, I got two Venus videos here showing it in and out of focus um, I've got this video I filmed an airplane flying overhead um, in auto mode and you can see the camera cannot focus on the lights they look exactly like what people are taking of stars because the camera can't focus on the light <laughs> it's just too dark and I think that was with the P1000 and even though it's better in you know, the flashing lights it didn't have time to focus and the planes flying by so fast you can't put it in manual uh, mode and get it focused but you know what a plane a plane's lights look like up close you know they don't look like stars <laughs> anyway this is just uh, uh, a little educational video I'll do more of these if anyone is interested uh, in learning more about these cameras and how to use them at night but uh it's nothing to get upset about, nothing to get in a, a tizzy over, but you know, we just need to do a little better. I think this is, you know, if you show some of this out of focus stuff to, especially to people who own telescopes or if whoever looked through a telescope, they're not going to listen to anything else you have to say. And that's why I think this is kind of, yeah, this might have been put out maybe originally by Globers or something I, I don't know where it originated but this to me is some misdirection that it will turn people away from flat earth man we it, we need to get the stuff right and uh, this is just one of the big things that I think every, we we need to do better on this you know uh, the stuff looks like what it looks like I mean we don't know how far away it is I mean I think it's all close because it's all in the same focal range uh, I think this video here uh, moon Mars and Saturn I, I got perfect focus on the moon put it in a manual focus and then zoomed in on Mars and Saturn they were both in perfect focus so that tells you that the that they're all about you know the same distance away the camera was not set to infinity so I think everything in the sky is very close. Um, and the you know the other planets, so-called planets, are tiny lights. They're not anybody that could think Venus is bigger than the Earth. I mean, there's no proof of that at all. No evidence. It's a light in the sky, just like everything else up there. And it's all about the same distance away. No such thing as millions and billions of light years and miles. It's all in within our atmosphere, just like we see it. But um, we do need to do better on the focus stuff but I will add this video to this playlist and I will put this uh, link to this playlist in the description if anybody wants to check any of these other ones out alright that's all I got for this one thanks for watching